This next episode of Overlooked History is about James Holman, the Blind Traveller. James Holman was born in Exeter, England in 1786, and was not born blind. In 1798, at the age of 12, he joined the Royal Navy. One of the early ships he was assigned to was the HMS Cambrian, which later gained a reputation for accidentally attacking lighthouses. Seven years after joining the Navy, while stationed aboard the HMS Gruyere, Holman began having a pain in his foot, which is now thought to be a symptom of rheumatism. The pain grew worse and worse, and several doctors tried to cure it. He was finally able to cure his pain by visiting the Roman baths in Bath, England. However, as the pain left his foot, it began to enter his eyes, and he was soon blinded. He began using a metal cane to tap on the ground, and he used the clicks it made to guide him, similar to the echolocation of a dolphin or a bat. Holman decided to travel to the Mediterranean, and he left from Dover, England. He arrived in France and traveled the country. Because he could not see his surroundings, he had to touch and ask locals questions. He began taking notes, and his eventual book is considered an early form of anthropology. When in Rome, he climbed several ruins, and attempted to climb St. Peter's Basilica. His request was denied, because the last Englishman who climbed to the roof hoisted the English flag. While in Italy, he also climbed Mount Vesuvius, the volcano which destroyed Pompeii. In Naples, he met a deaf friend of his, and they travelled the rest of Europe together. While leaving for St. Petersburg from London, the ship Holman was travelling on, the HMS Saunders Hill, was hit by a coal barge. As it drifted into the middle of the Thames, Holman was able to take control of the ship and steer it to safety with guidance from the crew. He then travelled to Russia and visited Siberia. He attempted to reach the Mongolian border, but was stopped by Russian authorities who felt he might be a spy. After he briefly returned to England, Holman departed for Africa in 1827. In Africa, he helped crew members of the HMS Eden capture illegal slave traders. He next travelled to Brazil, where he travelled through the jungle on an inebriated donkey. He was soon forced to turn back, and after returning to Brazil's coast, he sailed to Madagascar, against the warnings of many naval officers. He then sailed to India and Sri Lanka, dodging pirates and hunting elephants. He travelled to China, but was restricted to a whites-only part of Canton, China. After visiting China, he decided to return home by way of Brazil. After all of his travels, Holman published a very popular book detailing his experiences. He later traveled through Spain, Portugal, Montenegro, Syria, Israel, and Turkey. He passed away in 1857, soon after he finished his autobiography. The manuscript for this book has never been found. James Holman was one of the most popular travelers of his time, and he never let his blindness get in his way. Thank you.